Hello and welcome back to the Vegetable Buyer. I thought I would take time today to show you my new cloches. I made them myself. Uh, this one's about three weeks old. It's covered in builder's netting, debris netting. But it does the job just perfectly. And this one I made today. Different shape, different style. I wanted to make sure that the vegetables inside had plenty room to grow up the way. I've got leeks in here just now. Yep, it definitely isn't the season for leeks. But they're growing anyway. It's all trial and error. I've got turnip seeds planted in here. I don't know if you can make this out. But I have got big feet mark <laughs> in the compost. And I suspect it's a resident seagull, Bertie. So no more Mr Bertie, you are not getting back in there. So I'm very pleased with that, it's just a square frame with four feet covered in the builder's netting, the debris netting, and I can show you how I built it. Let's go! Workshop. I have measured everything out and I have a very crude drawing of the frame. These are the overall sizes so I'll deduct the width of the wood when I come to fit it. I'm going to go and cut them now. I'm just going to use regularised 2 by 2 pressure treated wood because it's for this, this outside obviously. Uh, and I'm using regularised because it's much nicer to deal with than getting scalps. Remember your PPE, so important. Mm. Oh, got all my bits of wood cut. I'm going to glue and screw everything together and probably either over engineer it or it'll be rubbish. I'll put some pocket holes in where I can't get screws in and the legs probably. And then we'll see what happens. I'm not interested in making sure the sides match up. It's just a frame. So I will glue that, a couple of screws in there and then the leg. I'll pocket hole on as well gluing extra screws maybe from the top and then they'll probably all hit each other. <laughs> it really is going to be quite simple. PVA external wood glue. Screw fix is fine. I'm not sponsored by them. Definitely a pile of holes as well. I'm going to use 5 by 70s corner clamps. It must be serious. Put it on roughly so it's ready to go. Once the glue's on, I'm not too worried about keeping it square at the moment because once you put the back bit on, it'll, it'll be alright. Let's clap this piece down. It's against the straight edge of the table, so at least one side straight. Liquid. Make my life easy.
disappointed with it. Cut. I should have done that. I should have checked that. So I don't know whether to leave it proud. I'm going to have to leave it proud, don't I? Well, it depends if it's square or not. Let's have a look. We are exactly 23.3. One, two, three. So I'm going to have to push that to square. That's annoying. Could three, four, five. <laughs> Let's just have a quick three, four, five. Let's just see. Against the inside of the thing. So there is exactly one, five, one. work out what side I want to be front and what to be back. I think given this silliness we'll put this at the back. So a couple of pocket holes on the inside of the legs. head on them. Now that my phone's done, I'm going to put the green mesh on it to keep the insects out and the birds and Bertie. I just had a very quick box hanging over the whole the whole bay. So I'm going to take this off the old box and uh, recycle it. I've got a Stanley hand staple gun. I've laid out my mesh on the table. I'm going to fit it to the frame upside down and just stretch it up the legs and then fix it to the top once I put it the right way up.
finished. Now it gets time to we'll try it out. If this isn't long enough at the front, just in case cheeky wee birdies go in underneath it, I can always add an extra strip at the front for it to hang down. It'll be fine. Okay, see you around there. So we go, I've replaced the netting on the front, just took out the, cut out the short piece and fitted a nice new piece. I think the cost to put it together was probably less than £10 and it should last a very long time. Hello Logan! <laughs> Thank you very much for watching my YouTube video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe as it can only get better. Bye! So for the people who paid attention and are observant, you will have noticed the extra screw holes at the front. Yep, I totally screwed it together wrongly like a complete dick. I fitted it to the bay to check it just before I added the mesh and of course it was completely the wrong size so I had to take it back, take it apart and start all over again. I didn't have to tell you this but hey ho that's life. Measure twice as they say. Now folks, that's what happens when you have a bit of a hangover on a Saturday morning and think it's a good idea to do some DIY and then YouTube it.